in our last session, we saw the concepts of addition and subtraction of algebraic expressions. We also saw, with the help of examples, how we add two algebraic expressions. Friends, in this session, we will see some more examples of addition and subtraction of two algebraic expressions. Look at these two expressions. Now let's subtract the second expression from the first expression. We should always keep in mind that at least the second expression should be written inside the brackets. This is because we have read that when we subtract one or more terms from an expression, the signs of all the terms change. Thus, upon opening the brackets, we get Thus, positive x becomes negative x and negative 3 becomes positive 3. Now, we group all the like terms. After adding the like terms, we get the final expression as Now look at this step. We can also write it as Now if we compare this part with this part, then we can see that the signs of x and negative 3 are inverted. So, we can say that subtracting a term is like adding to its additive inverse. So, subtracting x means adding negative x and subtracting negative 3 means adding positive 3. This leads us to a simpler way of doing the subtraction. We can subtract these two expressions by placing them one below the other. When we do subtraction in this way, every expression is written in a different line in such a way that the like terms are one below the other in the same column. Notice that we have changed the sign of all the terms of the second expression because we just saw that subtracting a term is like adding its inverse. Now look at this example. Let's solve it. Here, we first have to find the sum of these two expressions and then subtract this expression from that sum. So let's add these two expressions. Let's first write the first expression. Now while writing the expression which is to be added, we should note that we write the like terms one below the other. Thus, we get the sum of the first two expressions. Now, we have to subtract the third expression from this sum. So let's write this expression first. Now once again, while writing the third term, we should write the like terms one after the other just like this. Now, we will change the sign of all the terms of the second expression. This is the result we get after adding. So in this session, we learn to add and subtract algebraic expressions using examples. In the next session, we will look at some common misconceptions related to addition and subtraction of algebraic expressions.